What is up YouTube? We're underleveled. My name is Taka. And my name is Kat. And today we're out of the studio and in the kitchen to make Bunny Dango from Monster Hunter Rise. So if you're wondering how to properly pronounce it, it's Dango. Da n go. Dango. But honestly, you can just pronounce it however you want. That's totally fine too. In case you don't have a bunch of cute little kitty cats to make your dongle for you, we'll show you how to do it yourself. And the recipe is pretty straightforward, so hopefully we'll be whipping up your mogi snacks in no time. So let's get to it, shall we? Alright, so before we make dango, I think it's important to figure out exactly which dango we want to make. So let's see what Yomogi has to offer today. And I actually like this triple rose. Dango carver I think is a great skill. Getting extra carves after hunts is always nice, so let's go ahead and pick that one. And since I'm a bow user, I always go for invigorating before hunts. Uh, dongle fighter is really great because stamina is life for a bow user like myself. So let's pick that one. And for our last one, let's go with... Let's go for Magna Crisp uh, because it's purple and purple reminds me of Gengar. Moxie and Adrenaline are also great skills, so why not, right? Okay, so now let's make some dango, and it's really easy too, there's only three ingredients. The first ingredient you're gonna need is joshinko. Joshinko is a rice flour, and you're gonna need 120 grams. Yes, we're going by weight, but if you don't have a food scale, then we'll roughly convert it to cups, but we do highly recommend weighing your ingredients. It makes it more precise and consistent. Now, if you're not making a mess, you're probably not doing it right. Then you're going to need 120 grams of shida tamako. Shida tamako is a sweet rice flour that's had the starchy water removed before drying, and then it's broken into large, coarse bits. But once you add water, it instantly dissolves, giving your dongle a smooth and silky consistency. Now, if you can't find shida tamako, you can also substitute it for mochiko, but try to get the good stuff. Then you'll need 120 grams of sugar. Simple, right? All three ingredients are 120 grams, so it's really easy to remember. Mix the three ingredients together, and then you'll add roughly 175 milliliters of hot water. Again, we'll include the conversion on the side. But you might not use all of this water. You'll have to go by feel. Add small amounts of hot water at a time, making sure that it's well incorporated before adding a little more water. Once it looks something kind of like this, you're gonna have to dive in with your hands, but be careful because it might still be a little hot, but keep kneading it until it comes together. They say you want the consistency to resemble an earlobe. I know it's not a very appetizing visual, but it's pretty accurate actually. Once you have your earlobe-like consistency, you can form them into three equal parts. Now's the time to mix in whatever color and flavoring you want. First, for my triple rose dongle carver, I'm gonna add just a little bit of red food coloring. Now, I do suggest wearing gloves for this part in case you do stain your hands from the food coloring, but I was pretty careful um, and didn't stain my hands too much. But make sure it's mixed well before moving on to the next color. Next, for my Magna Crisp, I'm going to add just a little bit of purple food coloring to my dongle, making sure that it's mixed in very well. You don't want any pockets of food coloring in there. You can see that I kind of wish I wore gloves for this part because my hands got stained purple. <laughs> Finally, I split my last dongo into two pieces to make my invigorating dongo fighter, which is two colors. So I mix green and light blue to make one color, then I mix orange to make the other. Then I take my green and I break it into three pieces, forming three small logs. And then I do the same with the orange. Once I have all six pieces, I alternate the colors and then I roll them all together, and that gives me that striped dongo look. We weigh each piece to make sure they're about 75 grams each. You want them all to be the same size to ensure even cooking. Then, we roll them into balls and set them off to the side. This recipe will yield about 6 large Monster Hunter sized dongle. Once they're nicely formed, it's time to put them on the skewers. Now, normally you'd skewer them after cooking, but it's a lot messier and far more difficult. So, for the sake of pretty looking dongo, we'll do it prior to steaming. We'll be steaming them for about 15 minutes. In the meantime, Kat is going to be making an awesome support dongo set. 
So for my bunny dango, I wanted to choose dango that were similar in color to traditional hanami dango, which is pink, white, and green. So for my pink color, I chose Berry Safe, which prevents our group from being penalized for the very first time a member faints. And that's actually super useful, I've used it a couple times. The next one is going to be Moon Gaze. Um, I felt like this is the closest to white, but also if you faint in the area, it restores health to your allies, and that's pretty useful. And for our last dango, we're going to choose Analeptic, which gives you Dango Medic, and that increases health recovery from items. I'm going to start to prep for my medic dango, which I'll be using Yomogi to color it green. That's right, our favorite dango chef is named after traditional dango ingredient. Yomogi is also known as Japanese mugwort, which has a beautiful, earthy, and slightly bitter flavor and is used in all kinds of dango recipes. We're gonna place it in a tea bag and let it soak in some hot water for a bit while we prepare the dango. We'll come back for it later. Just like before, we're gonna be using 120 grams of Joshinko. Again, if you don't have a scale, we'll leave the conversion to cups on the side somewhere. Then, measure out 120 grams of Shira Tamako. After that, measure out 120 grams of sugar. Mix them together and then measure out 175 milliliters of hot water. You don't have to be too accurate at this part. Mix in the hot water a little at a time, making sure it's mixed well before adding more. You might not use all of it, but just keep mixing in more until it kind of looks like this. Then mix it with your hands. Be careful as it might still be a little hot from the water. Mm, yep, that definitely feels like an earlobe. Perfect. Now we're going to strain out our yomogi and try to get out as much water as possible, or it might make our dango dough a little too wet. Now separate the dango into three equal balls, and then we get to add some flavor and color. For my berry safe dango, I'm gonna add some strawberry extract but you can use whatever flavoring you like. Now to add the yomogi. I'm not going to use a lot because it's a pretty strong flavor. I'm not gonna use any food coloring either because the yomogi will turn it a perfect green color on its own. Moon Gaze is already white, so we don't need to color that. I'm weighing each piece, making sure they're all around 75 grams so that that way they'll cook at the same time. Then, I'm going to form them into little nice dango balls and set them off to the side. Just like before, we're going to skewer them before cooking to make them easier and to make them look prettier. Traditionally though, hanami dango is boiled and not steamed, but since these are monster hunter sized and you can see steam baskets in the game, we decided to steam them as well. We're going to steam these Monster Hunter sized dango for about 15 minutes. And now we get to see how Taka's dango came out. While it's still hot, we're going to decorate it with irigoma, or roasted sesame seeds, for the eyes and mouth. Once Taka's dango cooled down a bit, he added anko, or red bean paste, and that's the finishing touch. And that's how you make Yomogi's bunny dango from Monster Hunter Rise. Now we have all the energy we need to hunt some monsters. We hope you enjoyed this cooking video. We plan on doing more video game themed cooking stuff in the future, so if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell to be notified. But thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.